Does anyone else think that the YouTube Premiere feature is a bit weird? Like imagine if it just started with this. Hi! Um, I mean I guess it just did. Wow! What a crazy week. Soul Destroyer just dropped, which I mean, unprecedented levels of, of interest and sales and, and everything. I mean thank you so much for all the support, whether or not you picked up the film or clothing or shared it or yeah, crazy, 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 crazy. But more importantly, this video is to announce the winners of our lockdown film festival, which as always with our film festivals, there's a bit of a delay between finishing it and then getting the, the judging done because it's quite a task. And this one was, was really a task. I think we had over 65 entries in total, which if you think about judging that and they're all using the same footage and the same music, it's hard work to say the least but thank you to everyone who submitted um, incredible incredible range of editing styles and, and creativity that we saw also thank you massively to all the bands and musicians and rappers and whatever else we had submitting music because without that this, this thing would not be possible but yeah I haven't really written a script for this I wrote some notes normally I'm quite rehearsed but let me just have a uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. yeah so the initial judging was done by Johnston, who, yeah, because I've been fairly busy with editing and everything, but he, he sat down and he slogged through basically the same video 65 times, but each time with a little bit of a creative twist on it. So it took a little while because it's just, it's hard work and you want to kind of give each one your best, like the best of your, your judging ability. So he, he took his time on that. We whittled that down to a short list, and then between a few of us, we agreed on our, our top three. Sorry, I need this. What we were really looking for was the best edit, which essentially is a very subjective thing. Like, it could kind of be anything. But when you've got that many submissions of kind of the same video to go through, what it ended up being was just the, the ones that really stood out for us, the ones that showed, like, a big push in a certain direction of creativity or maybe some comedy or or the ones that just were like just very very good editing pacing use of kind of slow-mo or transitions or, or things like this um, and there were a number that really stood out from the bunch and then from that we had to whittle that down to our our top three and we we got there in the end and it was not easy but yeah before i, I announced the winners just a, if you submitted and even if you didn't win just i hope you enjoyed it i hope it gave you something to do throughout this weird lockdown period which kind of feels like it's coming to an end but then also the whole world is just in absolute chaos and nobody really knows what's going on so maybe we'll have to do another one if we get locked down again but without further ado let's let's get into it so in third place we have super deep parkour by bradley sexton which was a video that just I didn't think I was going to enjoy but I enjoyed it all the way through it was consistently making me laugh from start to finish with all these little editing kind of things thrown in there and snazzy little bits and yeah I mean that's that's what made it stand out so we're going to show a quick snippet now and if you want to watch the entire thing just hit the link in the description I wrote this little something to relieve the dark inside second place we have One Bang by Samir El Jatari and just to clarify there were a couple of submissions called One Bang but this one is by Samir also known as Parkour Dudes on YouTube and this was probably the most out of our top three probably the most conventional editing style but really polished to a nice degree with some kind of creative interesting transitions in there a lot of like cutting clips at unconventional points to transition them into other points you'll see in this snippet that I'm about to show using kind of body form in in the shot and then use that as a transition which 
I really liked and it just kept the whole thing flowing from start to finish. So once again, here's a snippet, but if you want to see the whole thing, hit the link in the description, check it out. And in first place, an edit that just, I mean, honestly, it was the last, last thing I would expect. Like, it takes a certain type of wizard to take all of that footage and then come up with this. And I'm, I'm, this is one of the reasons I'm so excited about this film festival and future film festivals is because we get to kind of find these creatives and these, these people who've who have these skills that maybe otherwise wouldn't be seen and give them a platform to, I mean, just, you have to, this video is insane. It's Toothbrush by Kosho Artificial, which I'm assuming isn't his real name, but what the hell? I mean, just, I. that's all I have to say. I absolutely loved it. it. It's just so unexpected. So here's the full thing, congratulations. Thank you all to everyone who took part. Just, just enjoy this. Motor's toothbrush. Fucking toothbrush. Close that. Get rid of that. Loading. Computer, we. Hey, computer. We. I'm listening. We, we go on your editing job. I'll send you the footage now. Me mess with the clips. Get it to look cool. I want it. I want it gritty. DIY. Give me Steezy. Give me a skater boy. I said you a little boy. You know stuff like that. Yes, master. Generating edit. Nice. Show us what you got. Playing video now. The new and extreme mode is toothbrush. Out of the way, baby boy. This is too real. This toothbrush will rot your teeth. To the edge, no more enamel for life. What? What? What the hell was that? This toothbrush will rot your teeth. Do you know what a toothbrush is for? Please leave me alone. I am just a computer. You're not showing off the moment, bro. Parkour's all about being present in the moment. Don't care about anything else. You can't mess with the clips too much, dude. It's about the jumping. This is Pooh Cell Products, is it or not? I don't care! Listen, did you even stick to the footage I gave you? You got all kinds of nonsense in there. It's useless. Piece of Tamagotchi junk! Playing video now. No, 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 no! What? No, 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 no! I can't reach. Okay. No, no, it's not. What makes you think that? You can't do anything. So what do you have me do? I don't know. You're the artist. I've done my job. You're, I'm just the ideas man. Awaiting logical command. Look, I'll be supportive. How about you make me something, and I'll tell you if it's bad. Playing video now. Is this too satisfactory standard? Uh, this is stupid. I give up. What idiot came up with the idea to promote dental products through parkour anyway? 
Why? How does that fix in your head? Why does that make sense? Why would that? Why would that ever work? In a minute. See what I mean? Loved it. So so different. Like I, I you could argue that he didn't take a huge amount of the source footage and do something with, but I, yeah, just so so cool. Um, that's it for this year. I don't, I don't know if we're going to do another one later this year. We normally do a film festival in the summer, but sort of, I, I need to have a think about it. We, we were in talks with some bigger sponsors and things to come in and get involved, and then obviously that all fell apart due to the current situation. I don't know. It's all about up in the air, to be completely honest. We're going to see what we can do, but we're definitely not going to stop the film festival. There will be further ones in the future, so thank you so much for taking part, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting these these artists who come and get involved. Uh, is there anything else to say? I don't know, probably. I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, Soul Destroyer is, is undoubtedly the best parkour edit I think I've ever made. I'm incredibly happy with it. The clothing sold at a crazy level. We've sold out stuff that we thought we were gonna have stock of for like three to six months. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to try and now fix from that because we didn't expect to sell that much stock and now we have to reorder it and some of the stuff's made in India and it takes months so we're working on it. These by the way are most likely getting restocked tomorrow. They're, they're literally, they get printed in the UK, they're coming, they're beautiful, they sold out in 60 seconds. We have a whole load more but I still think they're probably going to fly so if you want one get on it. Uh, I'll be announcing I'll be announcing when, what time they 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 go online. Um, here's a teaser of Soul Destroyer, just a little snippet, a little nugget from the edit. So if you haven't actually purchased it yet, this might be the thing that incentivizes you, or it just makes you utterly repulsed and you don't want to touch it. So wicked, bye. I can't lie.